There is yet more evidence that you really can't go home, even if that's where your dreamy-eyed mom lives, as it looks like we won't be going back to Back to the Future anytime soon. And while we've certainly heard as much from Christopher Lloyd, Michael J. Fox, and director Robert Zemeckis, the news comes from two beloved supporting actors, Claudia Wells and James Tolkien. Wells, who played Marty's girlfriend Jennifer in the first Back to the Future before being replaced by Elizabeth Shue, and Tolkien, who portrayed high school principal Mr. Strickland, were interviewed in a virtual panel on September 20, 2020. When the inevitable moment came and the pair were asked about the chances of a new franchise entry, they had their answers locked in like Einstein in the front seat of the DeLorean. No, we've done it. It's, it's done. One, two, and three, please. We're, we're quite happy with that. The OG Jennifer added that the trilogy screenwriter has been consistent with his answer, saying, Bob Gale's always been very adamant about there is no Back to the Future 4. Wells also shared a story about Christopher Lloyd telling the creator of Broke Back to the Future, a satirical viral trailer edit from 2006 that added some Broke Back Mountain-style romance to the original Back to the Future film, that his remix was as close to a fourth film as we're ever going to get. Chris looked at him and goes, that's Back to the Future 4, because it's not going to happen otherwise. <laughs> Everyone says no. Tolkien and Wells are just two more voices in a seemingly endless chorus of folks involved with the original trilogy, screaming into an unfillable void of fan expectations that no, there are no plans for another Back to the Future movie. Bob Gale, who co-wrote Back to the Future in both of its sequels, put the decision into firmly worded focus earlier this year. Speaking to the BBC with the verve and focus of a man who's been asked the same question over and over again for 30 years, he said, We already made a lot of money. You know, you don't sell your kids into prostitution. It was the wrong thing to do. We put the end at the end of part three. Plus, Michael J. Fox isn't in the shape to do a movie, and nobody wants to see Marty McFly having Parkinson's disease, and nobody wants to see another actor playing Marty McFly if it's supposed to be a continuation. We've already seen the Star Wars movies and Luke Skywalker's An Old Man. That can be a little bit painful, right? Robert Zemeckis, meanwhile, has been nothing if not clear about the odds of another Back to the Future sequel, stating at different points that it would be hubris to try to add to the story and that a remake would be outrageous. He told The Telegraph in 2015, It's like saying, let's remake Citizen Kane. Who are we going to get to play Kane? What folly? What insanity is that? Why would anyone do that? In case his point wasn't clear, he told Bad Taste in 2018, There will never ever be, in the most absolute way, a Back to the Future 4. There will be no more Back to the Future. As icing on the cake, Tom Wilson, who played Biff in all three of the original movies, went so far as to write a comedy song about how Back to the Future Part 4 is never, ever going to happen. You can't make it much more clear than that. So we have Back to the Future Parts 1 through 3, but what if that isn't enough? What if 343 minutes of time-traveling antics just doesn't hit the spot? Luckily, fans of the series in need of a fresh hit can always turn to that old reliable source of nostalgia feels, the extended universe. At the basic end of the spectrum, there's the noblest of 90s cash grabs, the Saturday morning cartoon. From September of 1991 to December of the following year, a Back to the Future animated series ran for 26 episodes on the CBS network. Characterized by Bob Gale as non-canonical what-if universe adventures, it explored Marty and Doc's family-friendly escapades through history. Fun fact, it's the first national TV series to feature acclaimed science guy Bill Nye, starring in educational live-action segments at the end of each episode. Additionally, for the discerning collector, Gail co-wrote an official sequel series to the movies, published in comic book form in 2015. Initially published as Back to the Future Untold Tales and Alternate Timelines, the series was pretty much exactly what the title implies, a collection of sequel stories taking place after the events in the movies, as well as possible scenarios from parallel realities. And if video games are more your speed, Telltale Games released an episodic adventure in 2010, which even featured the voices of Christopher Lloyd and, and a couple of cameos, Michael J. Fox. In short, there's still plenty of future to go back to. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite movies are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.